I'd like to thank the uh, Hall of Fame, the committee, and just about everybody in the world for me being up here. Uh, there's some guys, Paul Bennett did one heck of a job on this thing. And Mark DeNoble, who tried to keep us all in line, and I'm not kind of up with the times, eh? so I didn't have an email address, and he said, I'm gonna make you get an email address before this thing's over. So, I got an email address. Next week, I'm gonna get the computer. <laughs> I'm still a telephone type guy, I, I like to, and I can't type worth a poop. But there's a whole bunch of people I would like to thank, and I'm gonna ask my family who's over here if I could see them. Uh, I have three daughters, and I'll start with my youngest one, Jacqueline, you stand up. She's getting married next June. To Andrew, who's there, he's right from The Rock. We allow them in Canada. Oh, no, they are part of Canada. Jenny, my middle daughter, and her fiancé, Jeff Mills, who, they're getting married next weekend, so we don't ever stop this party and crap. Not like now when the weirs get going, we just drag it right on through. <laughs> and my oldest child, Rachel, I just about forgot her name. <laughs> Could you stand up? So as you guys might gather for a uh, hundred Christmases, all they got to play with Barbie dolls and doll houses and stuff. Which wasn't all that bad. I got pretty good at combing Barbie's hair. <laughs> but then all of a sudden, this young gentleman come along, my grandson, who, when I got in, told about getting inducted into the Hall of Fame, he said, well, Papa, if you're going in the Canadian Football Hall of Fame, he says, I'm going to have to go in the NHL Hall of Fame. And he's quite a little goalie. My grandson, Zachary. Stand up, Zach. And there's one other, she said I had to talk about her. Uh, she was kind of, she's the matriarch of our family. She kind of was the glue. I was out, I was trucking after football. I was never home. And my wife kept everything together. Why she stayed with me, I don't know. I'm not rich. I'm pretty good looking, I think. Uh, Ah, never mind. <laughs> Elizabeth, would you please stand up? <laughs> now, everybody asks, you know, what's your feeling about this award? And there really isn't any, I don't think, any way you can put it in words. It's kind of like, you know, you get that fuzzy feeling around Christmas, and, you know, the guys that played in Grey Cups, the kickoff, the winning of the Grey Cup, everything combined is, you can bring it all together with getting inducted in the Canadian Football Hall of Fame. And football to me, although I never had to work at this game, folks. This just kind of come naturally. I never lifted weights. Uh, I did, you know, I did physically do, Alonzo always kept him, so I was kind of like Alonzo. <laughs> Except you won one football game in high school? Oh, Rudy? One? We didn't win any. I got all the touchdowns one year, that was only six. But this, this thing with the Hall of Fame, the football, the Canadian Football League, it's all about people. And, you know, we can come to this thing and my mentor over there, Big Ange, who took me under his wing, he said, hey kid, you know nothing. And I had no formal training, so I said, Tange, hey, 
Do what you can, he said, I'm going to teach you as much as I can before they cut you. <laughs> and they did. <laughs> I ended up in Montreal with guys like Peter Dallariva. There's uh, Chris Walby, who I have no idea why we got rid of him. He was with us. You know, the man would bite off somebody's leg to keep him away from a quarterback. <laughs> There's so many guys that I could, you know, it's just like old home week. I can go, my father once, we were in an argument about money. And I had none and he had lots. <laughs> and I said to him, I said, hey dad, I'm richer than you. He said, let me see your bank account. I said, I don't, I didn't say money. I said, but I can go to any state in the union. I can go to any province in Canada. And I can phone somebody up, like Alonzo or Rudy or Jim or Ange or anybody, and it's just like old home week. And that's worth more to me than any kind of money, to have that camaraderie, the boys club. And with this thing, there's 239 of us in the Hall of Fame. Out of 300 million people in North America or more, it's kind of an elite little club. And I'm so proud to be in it. <laughs> There's one guy, and I'm going to end up on this. All these guys, all, all for since we got here. Oh, you can have two minutes of my speech. You can have four minutes of my speech. These guys are all speaking great. I thought they were wonderful. But there's one guy in my whole football career, and I'm a little bit analytical, so I had to break this Hall of Fame down. So I'm going to give a third of it to the Alouettes. Uh, two twenty-fourths of the offense, four twenty-fourths of the defense, and I'm going to keep a third because actually they give it to me. But Gordy Judges yes. deserves the other third of this award. Gordy, I never had to worry about a center because Gordy was a cruncher. He liked to hammer guys. My motto was avoid contact at all costs. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Gordy's was to take everybody and the world on. 